Hi, uh, so today we are going to discuss a system design problem. So it's basically designing trending topics. So if you have used Twitter, then you know in the sidebar they show the trending topics. So we want to design a system for that. So let's look at some of the questions that we should be asking before we dive deeper into the topic of uh, designing the system. So what is meant by trending topics and in particular what is meant by topic. So for simplicity of discussion, uh, let's assume that the hashtags that we have in a tweet is what we could consider as topics. What is the scale of the system that we should be designing it for? Is it millions of users? Is it like scale of Twitter? So let's assume that we want to design it uh, for users of Twitter, like an application of the scale of Twitter. Also, the interval uh, over how over what range should we decide the trending topic? Should it be 10 seconds? Should it be trending topics over last hour or last day? So for simplicity, let's assume that we want to decide the trending topics over last 10 seconds, but it might as well be uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or uh, you know, uh, a day. So for our discussion, we'll be assuming topic as in the hashtag, scale as in the scale of Twitter, and interval as 10 seconds. Now what would be the simplistic approach? A simplistic approach would be the client requests for trending topics and server fetches the latest tweets in the last 10 seconds from the database and returns the top key hashtags as trending topics. This is a very simplistic approach. Now what are the issues with this design? First of all, since you have just one server, it's not scalable and querying database each time you get a request for trending topics. Um, you might end up querying the same tweets because in a second you can get millions of requests and then you end up querying the database again and again for the same data for the 10 seconds and that would be expensive. So let's improve the design a little bit. Um, so first of all, we will introduce a load balancer and multiple servers which would be handling the request. And uh, for reading from the database, we could have a master-slave architecture where we read from the slave databases. Uh, so here you are handling multiple requests and here you are um, uh, having a master-slave architecture. So basically you can have these servers, a set of servers reading from one slave, a different set of servers reading from a different slave. So it's kind of um, scalable. It scales horizontally. Uh, uh, and there is not much load on either the server or the database. But there are still some issues. So first of all, as I mentioned earlier, that for every 10 seconds you end up fetching the same tweets. If you have multiple requests coming in a second, then you end up fetching the same tweets for those 10 seconds and querying a database is expensive. So let's improve the design a little bit. Uh, so we can talk about two concepts. First is we can introduce a caching layer and second is we can have uh, sliding window concept. So how does this work? Um, so let's talk about sliding window first. So basically the idea of sliding window is you maintain a hash with the tweet counts over the last 10 seconds and every second you update the hash that you have. So every second you add the new tweets over the last second from the database and then you remove the tweets that are no longer in the 10 second window. And so you have this window that basically slides every second and new tweets that are coming in are added uh, to the hash and the older tweets that no longer fit in the 10 second window are removed from the uh, window and then you remove the top hashtags um, as the trending topics. Um, so here um, you would have this hash in your caching layer basically each second it would be querying the database for new tweets and um, updating the hash and then you have um, a working solution. So now let's question how big is this hash going to be. So if you assume there are 1 million users per second, um, 
who are sending in requests and each one sends in 10 tweets so you have 10 million tweets per second which you will be fetching from the database into your caching layer and if you assume that tweets each tweet has like five characters in it so five bytes uh, then it would be 50 MB per second so you would end up storing 500 MB per second in your cache which is not huge, you can you can uh, assume it, but what gets interesting is what if this window size, like what if you need trends over the last 15 minutes, then it gets huge. Uh, then you would have to devise a new solution. Uh, so uh, this is how you would go about approaching the problem. There are some things to think about, like what or how could we define a topic in a ritual way, for example, uh, could we make sense from the tweets and have topics which are not just the hashtags, and also another thing that is very interesting is that trends have a pattern like if there is something trending in India, it might not be trending in the United States. So how would you go about geographically clustering these trends? And again, as I said, what, how, would you going about, how would you design a system if your interval size is longer? Maybe you can have some offline processing and mix it with online um, processing and have something, device something to design a system for that. So again, it depends on the question that you're tackling, what are the constraints and what are the trade-offs. Uh, so yeah, I hope that this gives you an idea of how you would go about designing trending topics um, given the constraints that we discussed earlier. And if you like this video, uh, please uh, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you.